Hey there. Today I'd like to share this with you. It's a Demotic papyri from Egypt, which dates from the first century AD. But the wisdom it contains is evidently much older, being almost completely Egyptian, uh, but with the odd hint of a Greek influence. I want to explore this work just briefly because there's a particular phrase in this which I believe will be of great interest to hermetic practitioners and scholars. This fragment is actually part of a bigger work, a, an actual manual for those who would like to become a sacred scribe in the house of life. That would be in the Egyptian temple. The section that we have before us, this small fragment, is actually very interesting. It's dealing with the practice of incubation or sacred sleep. This would be when the practitioner would learn to leave the body and go to the duat, go to the other world um, by going into a, a darkened room or arbiton, a sacred sleeping room, and they'd come back with special new information. I'm going to go through a few lines just leading towards our phrase so you can see the context. So the first line says, May I see the darkness as a, as a servant, stu, stu, servant, and may I make a glorification of the secrets of Dehuti. Now we've got this missing section, but don't worry, we know what's here in other versions of the same work. I enter therein, namely into the character of the Ibis and partake of what is to offer and become a servant of Dehuti and of Thoth, the god of uh, magic of Egypt. May I see heaven and what it reveals to me and the four corners, I think that could be translated four quarters of the globe and the earth and its whole length. May the Nile flood at me, I think flood at me means carry me, um, so that the flow over me takes me and namely to the secrets uh, that I can praise and be nursed from the source. So it's asking the Nile to take him to the other, other realm here. May my heart say to me, Return to it, name the chamber of darkness, so as to learn from the very boundary. So his heart's telling him to learn from that, this place, from the boundary of existence. Shall I go and make praise before the Lord, the hidden plant, and kiss the earth for Sheshat? We could talk about Sheshat, the uh, goddess, some other time. But now we come to the sentence that I'm interested in. Uh, the one that uh, I think you'll find very interesting. So here we are. I shall raise my hand to the great, great, great Netir and jubilate to the God who is great, great, great and jubilate at the Ibis who tramples the turtle. So the Ibis that tramples the turtle is Thoth and we are, we are within Netir, um, great, great, great God. Um, this Thrice great deity. So Thoth or Dehuti is being called a thrice great deity. First century AD in the Egyptian Demotic text. So this is obviously a antecedent to the Hermetic text where Hermes Trismodestus exists. Well, before Hermes Trismodestus, we had a Dehuti uh, to this majestus, we had um, the God who is thrice great and connected with this sacred sleep. Of course, this sacred sleep would be the sleep we see Hermes go in at the uh, beginning of the Hermetic text. How beautiful to see it laid out like this. So I hope uh, that has been of interest and brought spark inspiration I think many hermeticists could really um, gain a lot from reading earlier Egyptian texts with a keen mind and open heart. My name is Martin Folks, and until next time, 
let's let every word, thought and action count.